Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to explain switches. A switch can be an efficient replacement to using many else if statements. Here's an example of a program I wrote without using a switch. We have a day. Day will normally be the number 1 through 7. If day equals 1, we'll console.log. It is Monday, which you can see here. If day was 2, well then it's Tuesday. All the way up to 7, which is Sunday. I do have an else statement that states our day variable is not a day. For example, if I set day to be, I don't know, like a string of pizza, well then pizza is not a day, but it really should be. If you find yourself using a lot of else if statements, I would instead recommend creating a switch. Here's how to create one. We'll keep our day variable. I'll set that to be one. To create a switch, we will type switch parentheses curly braces within the parentheses of the switch we will place a variable or a value. What are we examining? Let's examine our day variable. We examine a value against matching cases. To create a case, type case, then a value or a condition. We will see if day equals one. So day, case one. Are these two values equal? If they are, then we can do something. We can execute some code. So add a colon, then any code underneath this case will be executed if there's a match between our value or variable day and this value. So let's console.log it is Monday. Then be sure to add a break. I'll demonstrate why you need break later. So day is one, it is Monday. Let's add another case for case two in case day equals two. So let's copy and paste what we have. Case two, it is Tuesday. Let's change day to be two, it is Tuesday. All right, let's do this all the way up to case seven. All right, we have cases one through seven. If I change day to be seven, well then it is Sunday. You can also add a default case in case there are no matches. Now what if we set day to be pizza, which doesn't make sense? Well, there are no matching cases. Once we review all of the cases and there's no matches, we exit the switch. You also have the capability to add a default case in case there are no matches. What's the default behavior of the switch if there's no matching cases? Let's console.log. I should probably use a template literal for this if we're inserting a variable. Our day variable is not a day. So now we should execute this default case. Pizza is not a day. All right, now the reason that we have these break statements is to break out of the switch once we have a matching case. I'll demonstrate what happens if we remove these. All right, let's set day to be two, as in Tuesday. It is Tuesday, it is Wednesday, it is Thursday, it is Friday, it is Saturday, it is Sunday. Two is not a day. So the reason that we have these breaks is to break out of the switch. If we don't have them, once we have a matching case, we will execute the code found within that space, then cascade down and execute any code that follows after, including code within different cases. So that's why you want these break statements after each case to break out of the switch. Let's go over a more complex example. Let's say we have a test score variable between 0 and 100. My score will be 92, 92%. I will also create a letter grade variable, which we will declare but not assign. I'm going to examine our test score. So another way in which you can write a switch is something like this. I'm going to examine the value of true against matching cases which contain a condition. So case, then I'll write a condition. Is test score greater than or equal to 90, as in 
This condition will evaluate to be true or false. If true is equal to true, we will do some code. If this is false, we skip over it. If our test score is greater than or equal to 90, let's assign our letter grade variable to equal an A. Then be sure to break. Then I'm going to test this with console.log. We will display our letter grade. We have an A. Let's do this for anything greater than 80. The user will receive a B. Test score greater than or equal to 80. Letter grade will equal B. Let's change our test score to be 85. The user receives a B. Let's follow this pattern. 70 will be a C. Yep, C. 60 will be a D. Sixty is D. Then for the default case, I will set letter grade to be F. Letter grade equals F. If I set my test score to be thirty-three percent, so with the test score of thirty-three, the letter grade is F. All right, everybody. So that's a switch. If you find you're using a lot of else if statements, I would recommend using a switch instead. It's not bad if you have a few. But if you have many, I would use a switch instead. And well, everybody, those are switches in JavaScript.